in the season finale for Whispering Hills. We uh, run into some terrifying mannequins. Oh, what, dude? We look to discover what's behind the secret door. And we also run into some more mannequins. Oh. What's up, guys? We're back in Whispering Hills. We're gonna go back into the apartments because apparently I missed a door and I needed to find the code for it. And you know me, I like to complete as much as we can. So we're gonna go back into the apartment. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that was definitely a welcome if I've ever heard one. So before we went through here, we were able to go to the back rooms, to the liminal space area. So this was the door I missed. Um, there's a code, as you can tell, that we have to find. So we're going to look around and see if we can get it so we can get inside that room. Where could this code possibly be? The dev told me to keep an ear out for the code. And I remember Siren Head, one of the times I was going by him, there was a lady talking. And it was this creepy lady. I think she was speaking like Russian or Czech or something. Thing. It sounded like she was repeating numbers over and over again. So I just looked up the original video they got that uh, that soundbite from, and I went through, and there's people who said that this is definitely someone speaking Czech. Neon 1567. Shout out Neon. He put a bunch of numbers, so it's a numerical code that this lady's saying. We're about to try all of the six-digit ones and see if one of these works. Wait a second. I think I figured it out. There's this if it's wrong. And then if it's right, it does that little beep. Okay. Six was right, I'm pretty sure. Three was right, I think. And then zero? We just need three more. Three, zero, eight, two. Let's go! Yeah! Bro, they're getting down, dude. God, I love it. Let's see what the note says. Congratulations, your life in Sanctuary just got way foxier. And we got a steel pipe gold. Oh my God, 147? Dude, that's fucking broken as hell. It's the most broken shit. Well, we're getting rid of our old pipe, 100%. Now look, it's just a golden pipe, dude. It's got the doge on it, dude. What's it gonna tell me to buy some doge coin too? Let's fucking go, dude. Big ups to Vivid Nation for helping me out with that. You just gotta go by here, and that's what we did. I was able to finally put it together. Let's see if we can go to the next area from here. We're gonna go to the school now and uh, drop off the isotope. All right, let's see what this guy's gotta say. Is that you? Sir Six said that he would be sending someone to me. Yep, that's me, and uh, I have this vial for you, buddy. Fantastic. A pleasure to meet you. I'll start working on this right away. I need to find my son and Alyssa. If you help me find Alyssa's belongings, I'll tell you how to get past the graveyard. We might be able to get more information on both of the children. Does that sound fair? I'm ready to help in any way I can. This seems like a good cause. You'll have to go to Midwich Elementary School, the Wolf family home, and an abandoned house out by the woods. I need Alyssa's clothes. You know, small children's wear. Bring those back to me and I'll give you some information. Scarf, shoes, gloves. I'm on it. We've got to find some children's clothes and bring it to this weirdo. And then maybe we can get out of here. We're going to make our way with our new OP weapon. All right, so we've made it back to the old Midwich Elementary School where we were at before. And uh, this already looks different than uh, it did last time I was here. So I guess we better get ready. Hello, kiddo. Oh, yeah, this pipe's definitely gonna make me feel more comfortable being in these uh, scary areas. I can tell you that much. Chill. So we've got to look for clothes around here, I guess. The question is, was where the hell would the clothes be, though? Oh, they could be in here. <laughs> this, this makes sense. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is their clothes. Hello, ma'am. I'm just gonna take that. I found the scarf. Time to check the house that Dr. Autumn mentioned. Ooh, give me that. Give me the ammo too, dude. Let's go. I don't even know if I'm gonna need ammo anymore, to be honest with you, though. This, this weapon is so strong. Uh. Oh, what, dude? No, thank you. I'm not playing in the back. Uh, bro, come on. I don't want to play in the back of the fucking clothing store with the mannequins today, dude. Oh, my God. Okay. Which one? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, sir. Oh, oh yeah, my weapon hits harder, boy. Oh, yup. Let's go, dude. Hitting home runs on these idiots. Yeah, that tickle, buddy. He switched weapons on me. I don't think so. Trying to get all cute doing the bait and switch on me. 
at all this blood, though. God dang. The nurse's office is right down the hall, dude. It's just the mystery chili. That's what it is. We're good. Just in case these guys want to get cute. Let's do it. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it, bitch. Come on. Oh, yeah. Bye. Better look the other way, bitch. You saw what I did to your friends, you idiot. All right, now we can get the hell out of here. Oh, we got a little straggler here, seems like. We'll give him a, we'll give him a couple love taps. What is that fucking dodging technique? Get out of here, idiot. Oh! <laughs> Should've put some clothes on, idiot. What the fuck is that? He's kind of thick, though. Ow, ow. Dude, you kind of hit hard, though. All right, we just one tap. There you go. Cool. We'll take that. It's nice that we're getting some daylight now. That freaking dark green shit was kind of hard to deal with. What's up, bitch? Yeah, I already know one of y'all is going to be a bad boy. Wow, I didn't realize that you guys were all hanging. Okay. All right. Well, excuse me, men. <laughs> all right. Excuse me, sir. My God, dude. There's no way. One of you is going to be evil. You don't have a museum full of mannequins in the area like this without having one of them try to clap your cheeks. Mannequins. Demons. Windows, I don't know. Case is broken open. Mud, mud. Jeremy, if you ever find this note, remember that grandpa loves you. Damn it all. Well, the janitor should have put his two weeks in because this sound. Oh my God, dude. Well, this place was disturbing as so. hell. Oh, which one? It's got to be this one, right? Whoa. Oh, that one twitched behind him. Caught you, bitch. Yeah. Oh, what the f Holy shit. I didn't know there was going to be freaking like four or five of them. The janitor was right, dude. The, de the mannequins are demons. Get back. Ow. Dude, I can't even move. This is the biggest, like, fucking sausage fest ever. Holy shit. I'm done. We're not playing nice guy anymore. Yeah, run away, bitch. There you go. Holy shit. They had me pressed on that. What, are you gonna do some cute bullshit too? Fuck you, idiot. You fucking thought wrong, bud. That's the wrong answer in the test. Hit you through the wall. How about that? Yeah, dude, you guys are getting the one hit or quitter, dude. Get the fuck out of here. There's a lot of action. Oh my god. So that's the thing I like about this mod, though, is it like slows down a bit at parts, and then it just gets batshit crazy. Like, that was insane. That's the most mannequins we've seen running it down on us. Ooh, let's go, boys. And then we got the perk chart. 100% we're going to upgrade to Idiot Savant. That's going to give us more um, XP, five times as much from randomly doing shit. So if you have a low intelligence build, that's like the play right there. All right, so now we're in the house. Cultist notes. Let's see what this says. Dear brothers, our ritual failed here. If you find this note, come to the abandoned house in the woods at the graveyard. Of course. I really don't want to go to a graveyard, bro. That just sounds like a horrible idea. Great, dude. That's a great sign right there. We're going the right way. Let's check the map. I think I want to take a little detour from those goobers. Oh, yeah. That's just the... Oh, shit. You fucking creepy bastards. Ooh. Yeah, but you're no match for the fucking golden pipe, dude. This is obviously the abandoned house. Oh, my God. What, what happened? Oh. Let's do this. What? Hey. Oh, no. What the fuck? Hey, bro. Dude, chill. Get back. I don't know what your problem was, but you're just going to get the work, bud. These kids are like worshipping a shoe or something. Okay, so we got the shoe. Now we need to head to Wolf Mansion to find the last part of the clothes. You put a bunch of these like little mumblers together. It looks like they're just like moshing out. Is that Paul Revere? Yeah, it is Paul Revere. Let's go, dude. Sir. Ooh, we got the door open for us too already. Perfect. This is looking really familiar, dude. Yeah, this is looking real familiar now. Alyssa. Okay, so that's creepy. The glove, maybe? Head back to the scientist. All right, so it was the glove. Cool. Whoa! Bro! What the fuck? He just, like, flew in the air. Bro. All right. This guy is trolling the shit out of me. Get killed, idiot. God, that was annoying. What the fuck is that? The whole family reunion's happening right in front of my eyes, dude. I'm moving. You guys want to fucking bother me, you're going to have to get your brains bashed. Wow, those are some whack jobs, all right? God damn. Did you retrieve what we need? It was difficult, but I got them all. Great work. Now I really must be going. Fucking excuse me? That sounded like a bomb went off. What the hell was that? One of my colleagues, uh, another scientist, was headed to the church for an unrelated matter. He was carrying a key to the crypts before he left. That was weeks ago. 
and we can both oh, assume great. what happened. What is going on in the background? The fucking bombs are getting dropped again. I I'll just say thanks, dude. All right. Thank you for your help. Even though you didn't help me for shit. I gave you a bunch right. of shit. Goodbye. And you're leading me to another place. I'm going to have to fight a bunch of monsters. So fuck you, honestly. Of course, the way we got to go is directly where I heard some fucking explosions. Speak to Johnny about how to get to the upper town. Okay. All right, so now we got to go back to those godforsaken apartments and talk to Johnny. I'm just going to run past all this bullshit. Hello, Johnny boy. The, the don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find out what you were looking for? Yeah, I've got to go to the upper part of town. I had to go to the upper part of town and find a key to the crypts leading to the cemetery. Yeah, there's an old crypt underneath the cemetery, but I've only been down there once and, uh, never again. Great. That's a good sign. <laughs> One more question before I go. So what now? I don't know. Pull up a chair, make a save, get a snack. I don't care. I'll her. When episode four comes out, I'll fucking have more lines. <laughs> There you go, dude. What a way to fucking end it right there. Thank you for playing Whispering Hills Episode 3. We hope you enjoyed your trip so far. Episode 3 was by far the biggest update, including uh, Episode 2.5 that we ever did. We hope to see you back here in Episode 4 when Johnny will give you a new quest. And if you want to support us, become a Patreon. You can also join their Discord. Hope to see you back in hell. Team Whisper, whisperinghills.net. Holy shit, that was fucking awesome. Ton of fun. I really liked this mod a lot. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, drop a like down below if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new to the channel and of course comment if there's any other fallout mods you want me to check out that's pretty much it guys hope y'all have a great day take care Peace.